Samsung's G Fold 3, which is being sold recently, adopts a method called Echo Square, then uses completely different parts. It reduces power consumption by 33% to increase battery life, and at the same time has a feature that can hide the camera hole, which used to give a sense of heterogeneity to the display screen, almost invisible. The Galaxy 22, which will be released soon, is also expected to use this method and it is known that the brightness of the display will be more than 1800 nits, which is 20% more than the existing Galaxy 21. You will be able to see the clear picture quality even in broad daylight. It is also known that Samsung Display has contracted to exclusively supply Samsung Electronics for this new type of OLED display. In today's video, we'll look at the method Samsung Display is currently mass-producing, called Echo Square OLED. Let's start the tech tree. The structure of the display unit constituting the mobile phone is largely composed of an anode, a cathode, and ultra-thin multi-layered organic material located between them. The most desirable is that the only the light emitted from the OLED material is incident on our eyes to view the image. However, since the anode material made of metal with high reflectivity like a mirror is located on the back of the display, Reflection by external light occurs very seriously in bright environments such as outdoors. If an environment is created in which the light reflected from sunlight or other bright object is reflected by the anode inside the display, the desired image cannot be viewed by the light. The external light is sometimes much brighter than the light emitted from the OLED elements inside the display rendering the display useless. A device to prevent this is located on the outmost part of the display, a film called a circular polarizer. It is in the form of a black translucent film, and when it is mounted on the outmost part of the display, it has the characteristics of making all the light incident on the OLED from the outside be absorbed when it is reflected by an anode material. In short, it is a film that blocks the reflection of external light. Not only mobile phones but also OLED TVs are installed in all OLED displays. Because of these features, the display can be viewed clearly even in bright environments. But there is also a dark side. Half of OLED light generated inside is absorbed by this film. Instead of blocking the reflection of extraneous light, you lose half of the efficiency. There is another problem. Circular polarizer film is in the form of a stacking for more films with various properties, and the thickness reaches 50 to 100 microns. It is rather thicker than the OLED itself, formed on a plastic substrate. The navel is larger than the tummy. There is no big problem for the OLED purpose of glass substrate, but when the display is folded or rolled, the thickness of the circular polarizer is becoming increasingly problematic. Another problem is that the transmittance of a circular polarizer is only 50%, so when taking pictures with a cell phone cam, dark or distorted images are produced. To prevent that, a part of the circular polarizer was cut out so that the camera lens did not interfere with the receiving light and as a result, it was teased for M-shaped halos. Samsung Display boldly removed the circular polarizer to solve this problem, and is preventing extraneous light reflection in a new way. Compared to conventional OLED, it has superior power efficiency, highlighting the fact that battery life is increased. Structurally, the biggest difference is that, unlike the existing OLED, a thin color filter is formed directly on the OLED instead of a thick circular polarizer, and the black material that absorbs light is doubled around the OLED pixel and around the color filter. 
As shown in the figure, the black material has two layer structure. Because of this geometrical structure, it is a method to eliminate external light reflection by designing a structure that blocks light from entering the anode with high reflectivity from the outside, or prevents the light reaching the anode from being reflected back to outside. Let's see how this structure prevents the reflection of external light through animation. External light directed to the OLED display force hits a color filter or surrounding black structure. The black material absorbs extraneous light and prevents reflection. External light that arrives at the color filter instead of black material passes through the color filter where about two-thirds of the external light is absorbed by the color filter. That is, only the photons of the same color as the color filter pass through and the rest are absorbed. However, the passing external light is also absorbed by the black pixel-defined layer around the OLED pixel, so it is possible to prevent external light reflection. On the other hand, light emitted from the OLED subpixel composed of RGB is partially absorbed by the black material formed around the OLED pixel and color filter, but emits relatively large amount of light compared to the conventional polarizer that absorbs half of the light. This is why the new method of echo scale is more efficient than the old method. As a result, external light reflection has been removed with a color filter and black layer of 5 micron thickness instead of the original 50 to 100 micron circular polarized film, and at the same time it also has the effect of reducing battery consumption. This increase in efficiency is the reason why the brightness of the upcoming Galaxy 22 can run at 1800 nits which is 20% more than the brightness of the existing Galaxy 21. And what is even more interesting is the fact that the OLED with a polarizer introduced in this video must be used in Samsung's QD OLED TV. In QD OLED TV, unlike white OLED TV, technically there is a reason why the circular polarizer cannot block external light reflection. That story will be covered in the next display related video. That's it for today. Goodbye.